What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 55 update. This is a small update this week. It is inventory sorting, so we have inventory sorting and some other changes. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 55 inventory sorting, Icarus Week 55 update, inventory sorting by weight, name, and more. We've added the ability to sort your inventory four different ways with preset options, orders, and easy to follow UI. Happy Week 55, this week we are adding highly requested inventory sorting just in time for Christmas. You'll be able to sort your inventories four different ways with preset categories and orders to make it as easy as one click and go. Happy organization, everyone. So inventory sorting, this has been a popular request for the community. They added the ability to sort your inventory in four different ways to organize your gear. You can sort it by weight, stack amount, and name. And the fourth pipe uses a category which has six of its own different options. Non-food consumables, weapons, armor, buildings, resources, and exotics. So we now have a sort option in our inventory. And what you do is you left click this little gray box in your inventory right here. And you can sort it by name, type, stack, and weight. Of course hit wait and then we'll sort it it'll give me the heaviest items first and the lightest item last name of course sorts it alphabetically by name b for bone and w for wild berry type will sort it by its item type and put multiple items together as you can see all my food is in one section or resources and everything else is in a different and then you got stack and what that does is it sorts it by the highest stack to the lowest stack so yeah that's the sort options they had some important fixes this week. Icarus now works fully in Steam offline mode without an internet connection. And you're now properly charged 10 Ren for each repair and repairs the item in your station. Dropships no longer destroy mission items. And anything that's deployable that gets hit and damaged will drop their items rather than just be removed. They did update the cave lining to provide better coverage across different areas of the cave. And added a more distinguishable mesh to the exotic extraction ship. So yeah, this is what the OEI looks like whenever you drop it down now. And this is how you upload your exotics. It has a new texture. And all you gotta do is put your exotics in here and hit load station. And there they go. So they also have a quick guide for new winter sales players, which Basically, that means that Icarus is on sale. It's actually on sale for $23.44 right now, 33% off, and on sale for the winter sale. They gave a link to their Discord and say that their community is growing to over 47,000 Discord members who will help you with quick tips, finding a team, and sharing your highlights and lowlights. You can also chat with their devs and get inside scoops on what they're working on. And they also mention future upvote. And I guess they also give gods to two other YouTubers which is Game Advisor and Fortazar. Hmm. And go on to explain what a feature upvote is, which is basically the direct line to the team working daily on Icarus, giving you the best of game possible and trying to remove some of the bugs from it. You can also, on feature upvote, give them suggestions for future content and your opinions about the game. And there's some changes coming to sticks soon. Currently, anybody who plays Icarus is getting sticks for free, and that will never change. But in the next few coming up weeks, they're going to transition it into a paid DLC pack. And they're just kind of want to give you a heads up a few weeks beforehand. And they go on to say, for existing players, this won't affect you, but you still have sticks forever and won't need to purchase it. And it won't be taken away. Of course, after it becomes a paid DLC, you'll need to buy that if you didn't have it previously. But they also plan for multiplayer hosts to be able to share sticks with others who haven't purchased it. They can host stick missions in open world sessions and invite Steam friends to join them, even if the other player doesn't own sticks. Basically, only the host will need to own sticks. They also state they have plans to continue to do missions for stick in Olympus. And we got the change log and the new content this week. They added the inventory sorting to the game. And it says adding new cheat function to add random items. So apparently in Discord, they're just saying that the new cheat function that we just mentioned is just a dev thing. And other than the fix section this week, increased light brightness two times after reviewing in full game scenario with cave PP darkening the scene heavily. They did make quite a few uh, changes to the lights in caves. I know earlier I seen a light inside of a cave in the hole and it was bright, but it was dark outside. So didn't kind of match up. They did fix the collision caused with new dropship players. It was causing them to die before they were coming down on the prospect. So basically it fixed the dying on landing issue. 
They fixed the pneumonia resistance percentage, which would increase the chance of catching pneumonia and not decrease it. They deleted the old host migration system as it wasn't used. They fixed an issue with a dropship beacon grenade wouldn't recall dropship if the player reloaded a game while far away from the dropship. It'll just teleport you into your dropship now. I got teleported about 11 blocks away. Yay. And they updated that exotic delivery pod mesh that we showed you earlier. They did randomize the logos for server providers and updated the survival servers logo. We got to talk a little bit about survival servers here in a little bit because we actually have our servers up and running now. They did fix the joining prospect screen still using the eight associated player limit. Dropships now deal flat damage when landing instead of calling destroy on actors beneath them. Dropship beacon grenades can now be tested in editor without needing to go through the correct title screen flow. The talent respick is now working as intended. It now refunds the talent and consumes a refund token. The password input box now hides inner text with the optional button to show. And in the future content this week, Remnant Mission Initial Setup, working a little bit more on the shields and a little bit more on the rock dog. Here's something interesting, adding first pass of mount cart audio and event. Mount cart? And updating cart audio space spatializing and fine tunes also deleting profile fix card audio added control rig card animation to control overall pivot and wheel turning improved car control rig should do a better job of matching changes in terrain elevation while staying attached to harness sounds like we're gonna get a cart guys made swamp water textures 4k they set up the landmine item and spawner including recipes and talent adding in cart processor recipe in the, in the carpentry bench and unlock talent in tier two talk a little bit more about a wood cart carts no longer decay when placed on the ground sounds like it might be coming soon mount cargo and saddle is now dropped in a non-decayable overflow bag on death instead of being included in the carcass too feature locked cart town as this is for a future release and that looks like that's it for this change log so guys we have an announcement if you were to go to join then dedicated servers if you were to type in l-a-t-e you'll notice that we now have two dedicated servers for icarus for the channel and our community late night stream east and late night stream west we have been playing around just a little bit with the servers if you want me to make a video kind of about what we know on the servers and how to do dedicated servers let me know in the comments down below but to join our servers what you'll need to do is join our discord guys in our discord you'll notice that there is a icarus dedicated servers tab here under welcome to late night stream and here we have all the details about our dedicated server the server rules and everything else it's now up and running so to join our servers guys you'll have to join the discord and read the rules and then contact a moderator myself or mrs streamer blue goddess one in discord or the password to the east or west server or both any of the moderators that you see in the top here that are usually in yellow or red will be able to give you the password for these servers as well these servers are completely free but we are taking donations on streamlined servers and we have a link here in the very first paragraph. Here, right here is the public pay link for that. Once you get the password for the East or West server, all you'll do is click on it. And if somebody's already playing, you'll have to join their prospect or mission or open world, whatever is being played at that moment. But if there's nobody playing, like here on the West server, it'll be in server lobby mode. And server lobby, after you enter the password, which is now blotted out unless you hit the eye icon, you'll get this screen. And this is where you can load previous missions. Just remember to follow the rules. If you didn't make it, don't touch it, please. Same thing goes with items in the games. Or you can start a new open world mission or outpost. And once you host something on the server, that's all that the server actually does until everybody logs out for about five minutes. After five minutes, it'll return back to this lobby screen. And then you can choose your next mission or load a previous one. Like I said, guys, with this, Please just follow the dedicated server rules. We'll be panning people who come in and just harass and troll people and cause issues. And I won't hesitate to do so. We care about our community servers. We're going to try to mod them and be as fair as possible. But also, 
we want everybody to have a great time not going to read the rules out but they are going to be on the dedicated server page so you could check them out when you join the discord so anybody who plays the servers agrees to the server rules also just to let you guys know we are having a subscriber stream on the 30th at 9 o'clock p.m and we'll be trying to do this on the dedicated server so come check that out if you want friday at 9 o'clock p.m eastern standard time we'll be streaming that and also, as you can see, we've reached 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your subscriptions, likes, views, everything. Thank you so much for the support over the past year. You guys rock. Thank you so much. You guys keep watching them and subscribing. I'll keep making them. We finally reached 1,000 today. And guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We also want to wish everybody Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.